Hey guys, it's me, 80s from 144. So welcome back to the second channel, guys. Today, guys, we'll be doing um a video on Total Drama. I feel like I haven't done a Total Drama video for some time now. And this is a kind of a proper analysis kind of video because I know I've done a quiz a few weeks ago, but I really wanted to do an analysis one for this one. And the topic for today is why Total Drama action is criminally underrated. For me, when I hear people talk about the favorite season, I generally hear the same reception. I generally hear people say, oh... Um, Total Drum Island, Total Drum World Tour, The Redonkulous Race. And don't go wrong, those three seasons are great. I hardly hear anyone mention Action, hardly anyone hear the other seasons. And I feel like Action, for me, at least deserves to be in the top four, you know? And um, for me, I, it's for me um, one of the best, you know? And th this was really close for me um, for my top two. You guys know, I think I put Island and Action kind of interchangeable. I slightly had Island, though, ahead, but Action should at least be top four for most people. And I think for um, Total Drum Action, people tend to underestimate, over, um, tend to um, kind of look at the nitpicky things, especially towards the end of the season, which don't get me wrong, it, I didn't like that particularly. And um, there's a lot of issues with that in particular, and that kind of kind of devalues the whole season. And I think it's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. So, so today I want to give you guys three reasons. Um, obviously, there are more reasons to discuss why Total Drum Action is underrated. Um, you know, I just want to make three reasons to keep this sh short and sweet. Okay, so let's start with the first reason. The first reason that is, um, first of all, this season I think does a good job of establishing every character. I think every character has a good development. I think that is one of the most crucial things in a total drama season. Is that one of the most fundamental things in a total a season, especially um, cartoon seasons, is that every character has to be developed. And I feel like this is kind of an issue when we get to the later seasons like World Tour, even the lesser cast like, you know, All-Stars, uh, Revenge of the Island, Pocket 2 Island. Yes, they have a smaller cast, but they didn't really do a good, like, it wasn't really a good job of portraying everyone. I feel like this season does a good job. Even the characters that get very limited very early on, likes of Jeff and Bridget, even Gwen and Trent, they still have a pretty significant um, uh, screen time on the aftermath. And that's what I really like about the season. It started the aftermath thing. And I really wish they actually kept that because I think it was a really cool addition to see how the limited contestants are feeling. And I think it was a great way to, for us audience to understand how they're feeling. And it, it you know, it, it would make things interesting, you know? And I just think it was really good that the writers actually introduced that. And um, I really, really like that addition, you know? We get to see their characters vent their thoughts, how they feel after being eliminated, and I just think that it was a really good intro, uh, really good um, way segment. And obviously, this was later used in uh, World Tour. And I think you have to give credit to this season that uh, this season was actually the first season they actually proper, properly implemented it. Okay. Now, moving on to the second reason, the second reason I have. And um, before I move on, though, I don't really feel like the other seasons do a good job of portraying everyone. Like, you know, you look at Island and World Tour in particular, those seasons don't really um, develop all the characters like that. Okay, now we move on to the next one. Okay, then my screen will click. We have as Beth and Lindsay, the underdogs. One of the things I love about Total Drama Action is that it's a very underdog-based theme um, for this season. I don't, I can't really say there's a lot of underdogs in general for Total Drama that, uh, you know, because obviously every season does seem to have an underdog, but this season has the most. You know, Island, obviously you have Owen as a pretty much underdog. World Tour, you have pretty much be um by the this is spoilers by the way uh world tree have pretty much of cody revenge you have cameron and then obviously all stars there really isn't anyone at uh, the pocket island um i don't really consider anyone i guess you could maybe say sean but i even find that to be a bit of a stretch i don't really think anyone's an underdog that season and then obviously um the ronaldo's race you can maybe say the server dudes i guess <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure if you can count them, but the point is that this season has so many underdogs. You have Beth, for example, that's a, um, you know, obviously we know she made the finale. She's a finalist, um, you know, obviously winner in some countries. Obviously, we also have Lindsay as well as pretty much an underdog. Then you have Harold as well. There's a lot of underdogs that made it this far, and we have three underdogs, which is really, really nice, um, and the final five or six, and generally most seasons, you only have like one or two, which is really, really nice, and I think it really stands out from the other seasons that it really shows how unique it is like this was a very unpredictable season and we had a lot of underdogs made it pretty farther than expected you know like i don't think many of us expected beth to win total drama action um i don't think many of us expected harold to do this well and neither goes for Lindsay, you know and i just think that writers did a really good job of trying to portray a different perspective and we got to see some different uh, sides that we haven't really seen before 
I really wish, though, um, with this season, though, um, as you guys can see on the screen, I really wish our finale was Beth, um, Harold, and Lindsay. I think that would have been the perfect finale. And I think if we had that as a finale, it would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. Unfortunately, we didn't get that. I mean, I still do and I still do like the total action finale that we did have, the Duncan versus Beth. I still think that was a good, um, good idea, but I think this would have been better. I think this would have been so much better, and I think we could have seen a very different perspective. All right, now we move on to the last thing. The last reason is this one in particular, relationships. Now, I think many people are going to say this is a negative thing for them, which is understandable because a lot of people say that Total Action, the first half of the season, was really boring with the whole Gwen and Trent drama, which is, you know, understandable to some degree. I, for one, actually like this kind of thing because it made it things interesting that even though I do, I, would, I do prefer them being back together than broken up, I do understand why they did this because I wanted to change things up you know, to show that all relationships aren't smooth sailing. And I do think that we needed to see this perspective, you know, to make things different from Island, you know. And I think it just, uh, I, um, I think it's really interesting that they did that. Now, could they have handled the breakup a bit better? Probably could have. But at the end of the day, you know, the two are broken up. It doesn't really, you know, you know, matter that much anymore. And they're still good friends, of course. It's not like enemies, you know. And so... You know, um, yes, they could have probably handled it better, but I did like the fact that they did have this. And also, in the second half of the season, we also saw how Duncan and Courtney were like, they had a very um, back-and-forth relationship. And um, it was really interesting to see how we had, like, a, two different perspectives. Like, one had, had ended off peacefully, uh, the other we ended, we know, aggressively, as we saw in World Tour. You know, and I just think that, for me, it's really, really interesting to see how um, both sides were portrayed, you know. And so forth. So, like I said, this is just my quick video. I just wanted to, I just wanted people to appreciate what action a bit more than what it's regarded for. And there's a lot of other things I could have pointed, like obviously the challenges I thought was really nice. I really liked the challenges this season offered. I also really liked the fact that um we had some um and we had two antagonists I thought was really unique, interesting. Um, you haven't really haven't really seen that before in the other seasons. And I just think that this season is overall a good season. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I want you guys to comment down below once again your thoughts on this uh, season as a whole. And do you think it's underrated? And like I said, guys, we made it all this far. Consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd like to be able to enjoy. Comment down below your thoughts. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.